I'm a nurse and patient educator at the Cancer Centre of Southeastern Ontario. When people are starting chemotherapy, they often have questions about the process. Like how often do I come into the Cancer Centre? Who will be participating in my care? What will my treatment look like? You will receive a lot of information from your team about your treatment and many people find it helpful to have resources like this video that you or family members can return to later. The purpose of this video is to give you an overview of what you can expect during your treatment. I will go through an overview of what chemotherapy is and how it is given, and the different people who will make up your cancer care team. While this video will give you a general overview of chemotherapy treatment, you can visit our website for more detailed videos and information about side effects and what to expect when you visit the Cancer Centre of Southeastern Ontario. We will start with a bit of general information about what chemotherapy is. Chemotherapy is a general term for drugs that destroy cancer cells or slow them from growing. The chemotherapy treatment that you receive will depend on the type of cancer that you have. There are hundreds of different chemotherapy drugs and you may receive one chemotherapy drug or a combination of drugs as part of your treatment. Your cancer care team will share this information with you. Chemotherapy drugs can be given in different ways. How they are given depends on the type of drug and your type of cancer. They can be given by mouth as a pill, capsule, or liquid, by infusion directly into your vein using an intravenous or IV or by injection under your skin using a needle. Chemotherapy is often given in a series of cycles. While your cancer care team will give you the specific details of your treatment plan, here is a general overview of what the treatment cycle will look like. Each cycle includes a clinic visit, a treatment visit, and recovery days after treatment. These allow your body time to recover from side effects and give your healthy cells time to repair themselves before being treated again. Generally, it is 7 to 28 days between treatments. Some chemotherapy treatments are not given in a cycle. If this is the case for you, you will still have regular clinic visits alongside your treatment visits. As you can see, there are two different types of appointments you will attend in each treatment cycle. The next video in this series focuses on what to expect and how to prepare for these appointments. Depending on where you live in our region or where your cancer doctor works, you may receive your cancer care in one or more locations. The Cancer Center of Southeastern Ontario and the Kingston General Hospital site provide treatment and care to cancer patients across Southeastern Ontario. Quinty Healthcare Belleville site offers cancer care and treatment to patients who live closer to Belleville and are under the care of the cancer doctors who work in Belleville. If you are treated in Kingston, it may be possible to receive your chemotherapy and supportive treatments in Napanee, Brockville, or Perth. A team of trained nurses, pharmacists, and physicians at these hospitals work closely with the cancer care team at the Cancer Centre to provide your treatment and care. Ask your nurse or doctor if you would like to know more about getting your cancer drugs closer to home. The Cancer Centre of Southeastern Ontario is located in the Burr Wing of the Kingston General Hospital. Kingston General Hospital's address is 76 Stewart Street, Kingston, Ontario. The closest entrance to the Cancer Centre is the King Street entrance. For information about parking and contact information, please visit the KGH website. Quinty Healthcare Belleville site offers cancer care and treatment to patients who live closer to Belleville and are under the care of the cancer doctors who work in Belleville. If this is the case for you, you will meet with a nurse, cancer doctor, and other members of the cancer care team to plan and get all your treatment in Belleville. Quinty Healthcare Belleville site is located in the Dr. Douglas A. McIntosh Cancer Clinic in the Belleville General Hospital on the main level. For information about parking and contact information, please visit the BGH website. If you are treated in Kingston, it may be possible to receive your chemotherapy and other supportive treatments in Napanee, Brockville, 
or Perth. A team of trained nurses, pharmacists, and physicians at these hospitals work closely with the cancer care team at the Cancer Center to provide your treatment and care. Ask your nurse or doctor if you would like to know more about getting your cancer drugs closer to home. Now that you have a sense of what the treatment cycle will look like, let's talk about who will be part of your cancer care team. Hi there, my name is Dr. Jim Biaggi and I'm a medical oncologist. As a medical oncologist, my responsibility here is to prescribe a treatment for your cancer and to help you manage the symptoms that may develop as a result of those treatments. I work with a very specialized and experienced team of nurses, pharmacists, and allied health professionals to help make your treatment journey run as smoothly as possible. As we proceed with your cancer treatments, we will ensure that your family doctor is kept up to date with your progress. Once your treatments are underway, I will plan to see you once each treatment cycle, but more often if necessary. While you're on treatment, if you're outside of the hospital setting, we want to be sure that you have access to our specialists in case you do get unwell. Nights and weekends, there are always cancer specialists on call, and we make sure you're aware that you can call us at any time, 24 hours a day, to make sure that you stay safe. Hi, I am Elizabeth, and I am a primary care nurse at the Cancer Centre. You will see me during your oncology clinic visits. My role is to assess if you have any side effects related to your chemotherapy treatments and to assist in the coordination of your care. Hi, I am Mary Ann and I am a chemotherapy nurse. I administer your chemotherapy and supportive therapy treatments in the chemotherapy suite. I am available to answer your questions and to assess your concerns as needed on the day of your treatments. Hi, I'm Carly. I'm a pharmacist and my role in the cancer program is to help the cancer care team prepare your chemotherapy treatments and to double check the orders for the cancer drugs prescribed to you. I'm available to explain to you how your cancer drugs work, the possible side effects of your treatments, and instructions for taking medications at home, specifically your anti-nausea medication. You will get the chance to meet with me at your first chemotherapy treatment. Now that you understand some of your cancer care team members, I would like to take a couple minutes to talk about taking care of your emotional health. We know that this can be an overwhelming time for you, especially if you are dealing with a new diagnosis or starting a new form of treatment. Feelings like anxiety, fear, or uncertainty are normal and a natural response to the stress of being diagnosed with cancer and starting treatment. We encourage you to share how you are feeling with loved ones and with your cancer care team. It helps to talk, and it also helps others in your life understand how they can help you. When you are feeling these emotions, there are supports available to you, including your cancer care team. Always let them know how you are doing at your appointments. Social workers can provide you with additional support and navigation for coping with emotions and practical or financial issues. Patient symptom management guides. These provide self-management strategies for coping with anxiety and depression. Hi, I'm Patty. I am a breast cancer survivor. In my case, time went quickly from suspicions about my tumor to being diagnosed with an aggressive breast cancer. I needed to start chemotherapy after a mastectomy right away. I hoped that I could endure what was going to be a long journey. I met with several people in the Cancer Centre at my initial consultation. I liked the honesty and support of them all and felt reassured about what was about to happen. But I still felt anxious about how I would react to the chemotherapy drugs. I knew that side effects would be managed as best they could be, but I was still afraid. Looking back at the journal that I kept, I noted that despite my background as a registered nurse, I was anxious. This was me now, my new reality. I was a wife, a mom, a grandmother of a little one, a daughter of a frail senior, my father. The experience was becoming surreal and I was feeling a little like a cartoon character of myself having to experience this all. I found that I started to cocoon myself and became more drawn in. I was fortunate to have a great support system and that was important but I had to do this myself. You may feel isolated and out of sync with the usual world as you begin treatment. 
Know that this is normal and that you are never alone. I felt that I could not deal with my work responsibilities as I looked to what the next many months were going to bring. I stepped away from my job. I felt that I had to focus my energy on this journey to do well. And I panicked at first to think about leaving what I had dedicated my life to for over 30 years. But health was my priority now, and with that, it became easy. On my final day of chemotherapy treatments, I rang the lovely brass bell for all to hear, a special experience. I was so well monitored and cared for throughout my treatments. I was not the most ill patient in the room during my treatments, but I was always made to feel special. Here I am, five years later, busier and more active than I've been in years. I am grateful for all of my care and support. For most people, your feelings improve when you get support and do things to help yourself. If your feelings continue and start to interfere with your ability to do regular activities, you should seek extra support. You can see a social worker for support in managing side effects that affect your emotional and psychological health. Depending on where you receive your care, you may be able to see a social worker at the cancer center or in your community. Talk to a member of your cancer care team about how to get referred to see a social worker. Hi, I'm Jessica, one of the social workers with the cancer program. Social workers are available to help you and your loved ones cope with the changes cancer brings in your life. We are here to talk to you about any emotional concerns, financial concerns, and practical day-to-day -day concerns that you or your loved ones may experience. If you would like to meet with a social worker, please ask a member of your care team. This concludes video one of our chemotherapy patient education series. If you have any additional questions about your chemotherapy treatment, you can contact your cancer care team. If you want to learn more about chemotherapy and your treatment experience at the Cancer Centre of Southeastern Ontario, check out our website for more videos and resources.